What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so, it is finally time for us to go east, Route 118, in all its glory, and yes, this is only Route 118 because we're going to be battling quite a few trainers, and then after that, the next episode, I want to save it for all the cutscenes, like, you know, going into the other island that, you know, we're going to be getting into, and then uh, Steven Stone and all that crud too, so, yeah pretty much all that stuff so let's go right ahead and uh, continue our adventure right here as you can see we are in Mauville City and we need to go get a bike actually we need to switch out our bike because we are going to be going on an adventure where it requires an acro bike and all that crud so let's go ahead and talk to this guy oh you were thinking about switching bikes okay no problem are you ready to switch bikes yes sir I am give me my bike there it is so there it is guys we got ourselves the acro bike and uh, well Let's go right ahead and take care of business now. We're going to be going into Route 118. Finally, we're going to be battling a bunch of people. So many people, it's ridiculous. It's just stupidless. So here it is, Route 118, and first person it sees us is the Aroma Lady. The Aroma of Flowers has a magical power. It cleanses us body, soul, body and soul. Okay. So here we go. We're going to be battling against Aroma Lady Rose, and she will be coming out with her Oddish. Now, off screen, I did battle quite a few Pokemon, captured a few Pokemon. I think I've already done, like, already talked to you guys about this. And uh, I switched my Pokemon, my Pokemon team back to its original lineup. I do have Vesuvius on my team for the time being because, again, I do want to evolve all my Pokemon. Mainly the Pokemon that I've been using right here. And, yeah, I also have the Pokemon Egg. I kind of want to hatch that. And I never did that in the last episode or in the last walkthrough in Pokemon Emerald. So I kind of want to do that. And as you can see, we're getting poisoned by this goddamn Oddish. So let's go, Lava Plume. Let's eat this up. Lava Plume, destroy. Look at that. Never had a chance. She never had a chance. That's awesome. And of course, Vesuvius gained some points. We're going to lose some points right here too because, well, homie here has got poison gotten poison and all that stuff so she's gonna be coming out with the Roselia I'm gonna stick by here with Vesuvius and well the only thing we got to do now is love a bloom and all that crud now I've been saying this quite a few times I'm gonna say this one again because you know the lagginess and I know how many of you guys love perfect uh, streaming videos and all that stuff too but yes I'm working hard to get this whole uh, streaming in its proper order like right now I'm looking at the quality it's at 88 percent so yeah 88 is better than nothing trust me guys uh, whenever I try to record this kind of thing it usually takes me like about an hour because I have to find the right quality right internet and all that stuff I found out through my brother that holy shit we uh, we have another internet that you know actually covers uh, laptops and desktop computers and all that stuff so yeah that that right there is a uh, something even it even if there isn't a boat you can cross rivers and the sea and the sea if you have a Pokemon to know surf Pokemon can be counted on to do so much this is true so true so let's go right ahead and grab this right here look at that we found ourselves a heartstone a much needed item and let's see let's go right ahead and switched out to Pokemon right here let's go with Raiden because we're gonna be battling some uh, water type Pokemon trainers like this guy the fisherman or the for fisherman equipment is the key but for trainers the key ingredients are Pokemon and heart of course well yeah that is true that is so true so here we go let's get this we're going up against fisherman Wade and well he's gonna be taking on Raiden right here Lord of Thunder now, I think I've told you guys this story quite a few times. For the longest time. The longest time. I actually thought Carvana and Sharpedo were two separate Pokemon that never evolved. It wasn't until I started playing Pokemon Ruby that I found out through leveling up a Carvana that it actually evolves into a Sharpedo. Yeah. And this was before, like, you know, I even had permission to use the internet and all that stuff. Yes, guys. Uh, for us grown-ups, adults, and all that stuff, we had to get permission. We had to get, like, permission to, to, to use the internet and all that stuff, too. So, yeah, that's a story about me that eh, nobody knows, probably. And, let's see, talk to this guy. Sometimes Pokemon hide underwater, too. Do you want me to tell you, uh, show you the trick to finding them? No, I already know. 
Oh dear, how rude of me. You've got a look on your face. It says, I've known that for a long time. Yeah, well, I've been playing this game for quite some time, but I did reveal that I actually thought that Carvana did not evolve into Sharpedo. Oh yeah, now here's another, what was it, a secret base right here. And many of you guys already know that I have a secret base close to the desert, but that will be changing once I explore a little bit further in uh, into Hoenn. Because there, 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 there's locations right there, there's a spot where you can actually find uh, a, a nice amount of, uh, of, of secret bases. And we will be getting to that location pretty soon here. And look at that, Lava Plume, eat this Magnemite, suck it! Alrighty, look at that, look at that. And we're gonna go up with the, he's gonna be number the Whisper. so let's go with Sage of the Halo right here and kick some more ass. Now, as I'm speaking, it is currently May, oh wow, it's Cinco de Mayo, yeah, Cinco de Mayo. And I just looked at my subscriber count and we just reached 6,900 subscribers, guys. That is, Im that is amazing. That is amazing and I'm actually happy about that. Uh, for the longest time, I've been stuck at 6,000 subscribers, and rightfully so, because, you know, hey, I gave up on this channel, and, you know, took a lot of breaks, started a new channel, that got deleted, and I got pushed back over here. So, hard work pays off, guys, and I'm hoping by the end of the week, maybe by the end of the month, we'll be at, uh, what was it? We'll be at, wait, why do I need to repel? Yeah, we'll be at 7,000 subscribers, finally. And, you know, this is all because of you. Now, for you, the newer subscribers, welcome to my channel. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, you know, if you guys don't like cuss words or the vulgarity, that's just me. I'm sorry about that. Now, talk to this guy. Hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir, I do. Hmm, we're identical in minds. Hmm, take this good rod. And look at that, guys. We get ourselves a good rod. And that is a much-needed item for us because... Well, we need to capture some better water type Pokemon. You know, we did capture another. We did capture another. Well, we did capture two Magikarps, just for Hydras and all that stuff. Probably should uh, capture a third one. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the Pokemon in here that I've captured so far. Now I'm grabbing items right here, and look at that. We found ourselves an iron, always needed. And, well, there's this fisherman right here. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. I'm a fisherman, but also a trainer. I'm raising the Pokemon I caught. Bring it. Okay, so here we go. We're going up against Barney, the big old dinosaur, and he's coming out with his patented Carvana. Look at that. Now, why did I pick Carvana in the first place? Well, I actually thought that Carvana was cooler than, uh, than Sharpedo. I don't know why, what my mindset was. Now, this is when I was, like, 15... 15 years old. Yeah, 15 years old, and I actually thought Carvana was a little cooler than Sharpedo, so... <laughs> yeah, that, that, was a, that was a thing right there. Now, this guy's coming out with Gyarados. Let's go! And uh, let's take on a, a little Gyarados right here. Now, uh, I think when I was playing Pokemon Ruby, I was actually trying to go for capturing only Hoenn Pokemon, because I actually have, like, like many, like every single one of us, we have a base set of Pokemon that we like to use. A go-to Pokemon and all that stuff. Mine, I've played Pokemon Sapphire like three or four times, so I kind of got the idea of what I liked, what I didn't like, and all that stuff. And then Pokemon Ruby, I kind of wanted to try something new. And Carvana was one of them. And uh, well, I accidentally got myself a, a Sharpedo, which is hilarious. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's see, we're going to go with Hydra. Vesuvius does have a move that will kill these guys right here so what's up guys oh you're driven hi do you remember us from last time can you show us how much stronger you've become okay Q interview let's do this bring it so here we go challenged by interviewers Gabby and Ty and they're coming out with uh, Magneton and Loudrick right here oh yes two of the easiest Pokemon you'll ever beat eventually they'll grow stronger and stronger and stronger you guys have an unlimited amount of times that you can actually battle these guys, and that's how I actually got stronger when I was uh, playing Pokemon, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and all that stuff. So let's see, I'm not going to do a move that will affect Vesuvius, but I will be using a move that will not affect Hydra, if you guys know what I'm talking about. 
Here comes that spark attack, and just like that, Hydra gets attacked. And Vesuvius, going with the Lava Plume. Eat this! Oh yes, nearly takes out Magneton. And it burns Loudred, which is good. And here we go. Oh yes, Dragon Tail, finished Loudred off. Fatality. That's right, that's how teamwork does it. That's how team works. Alrighty, okay, level 42. Vesuvius grows to level 42. Hell yeah! Suck on those. And everybody else in between. Look at that. Desert Storm grew to level 32. And let's finish this guy off. Let's go with a Dragon Tail on this guy. And what the hell? It didn't hit uh, my guy last time. So let's go right ahead. Lava Plume for the win. Destructo Disc. Oh yes. Look at that. Alrighty. Alrighty. My Pokemon are growing. They are growing! That's right. Okay, alrighty, so I'm kicking ass right here. Taking names, everything in between. Gattaca! Do you remember? That's the last quest you gave us, uh, uh, gave us the Battle Clincher last time. Never, ever forget that, or I never, for, ever forget that stuff. Uh, anyways, what do you think? Do you, do you want to, uh, do you want to be interviewed again? Sure, why not? Okay, make it short and sweet, and go. Alrighty. So, this this battle right here was actually not Gattaca this time, it was actually, hold on, let's go with murder. That's what it was, a murder. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Good clincher and all that stuff, too. We'll be keeping an eye out for you. Okay, alrighty, that's cool, awesome. Okay, so, I know, guys, many of you guys are probably thinking that, ah, oh, Draven's doing the whole, uh, you know, piece by piece again. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to save the game right here because I'm doing a little something extra. Plus, I kind of want to get this perfect streaming of uh, you know what what's going to happen next if I cross this area right here. So, in the next episode, which will be coming out a little bit later today, guys, depending on what you're watching or anything, uh, we will be going somewhere mystic, seeing something mystic and all that crud. Yeah, just 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 wait and see. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.